Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day and today is Monday the 26th and what we have right here is my inspiration for the chair I decided to make today. Um, I don't know, I've been, I looked at this photo off and on. Um, there's actually a whole detailed plan going through here of how he suggests building it, supports and all that kind of stuff. Some of the things I didn't really care for the way he done it. Some of the things maybe his turned out better than mine, it's hard telling. So what we have here is basically he recommended using just like um, cedar um, fence board. You can pick up the dog-eared stuff at Menards fairly cheap. I actually went with a little bit better stuff than he claims. He claims he could build this for 10 bucks, but I'm not sure how old this article is here because it's definitely um, can't be built for 10 bucks today. So not sure exactly what the deal is with that, but anyway, um, actually there it is. Um, basically he claims eight easy steps to a $10 DIY project. Even what he described here, it was a little over 10 bucks because he didn't take in consideration of glue, screws, and that kind of good stuff. The other thing I didn't like about with this one is like the legs, he didn't put any slope on it. He left it straight out the back. I didn't like that. So what I ended up with today for my project is this chair here instead. So not sure if you guys noticed, a few changes I made. I went ahead and I rounded um, the ends off of the um, arms here. I was gonna round off the rear corners also, and I decided not to. I also thought about just cutting them off at an angle, which I still might do, but I kinda like that squared look in the back. I also went ahead and scalloped the top, and if you notice, the center two obviously match each other, the outside two match each other. Um, to get my patterns of what I wanted for my shape, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I actually ended up using a um, chunk of sandpaper. So I laid that up there, it's bent in half, and then I just drew it up to the corner, down to the edge, cut it off, and then let it go straight over. So I kicked the idea around of actually rounding the whole thing over, didn't like the look of that in my mind. Um, luckily, I didn't um, cut it. I was able to see it was just the line drawn on it, didn't care for it. Also, um, I went ahead and on all edges, I um, took a um, router bit, set it up on a router table, and rounded off these edges. Really just gave it a much more comfortable um, seating position, much more comfortable on your hands, all that good stuff. I did not go crazy in sanding. This has all been hit with my belt sander. I think it had probably 120 grit in it. And what I've done there is I just set up a little um, stop block on my table. So as the belt sander pushed it that way, it rests against it and I could sand back and forth like crazy. So. After I got it all assembled, um, I sat in it and it just, I don't know, it felt weak. There's a couple little spots, like I heard some cracking of wood and there's actually a little spot right there where it started to split. I did not care for that at all, so I decided to reinforce it some. And what I came up with is I decided to go ahead and um, reinforce it with some, started off just called boards across here, front and back, glued in and brad nailed in there. Then didn't feel strong enough again, so I went ahead and cut another piece that runs all the way across. And this is just brad nailed in here on the top, but it's really tightly pressure fit. So I was really excited about the fact that it, it's pretty solid now. I mean, I've kind of jumped up and down in it, and it seems to be holding just fine. I also went ahead and put the rear supports on it. Um, the way he had it drawn out, it was like really the top, only the very tip point touched. I didn't care for that. So I went ahead and set it up my way, cut a little angle on it. And I also, back here on the feet, I cut this slope off here in the back that gives it a lot more of a resting point because of before, the way his design had this board come out straight and you only had a tiny little bit there poking in the ground, which maybe if you're in the grass wouldn't be so bad, but this is gonna most likely end up being on concrete a lot of its life if it goes where I think it's gonna go. So, and it'll work a lot better with that slope cut off. I also went ahead and glued a couple blocks up here in the corners just to add a little bit more stability right there. I think if I do this again, um, my next one I'll probably actually cut a little half round piece that's gonna stand up this way to fit in there. This was definitely my prototype. A um, couple of things I screwed up here like on the um, hands and or the arms. I routed the top and bottom both, which I planned on to all boards, but then I realized when it comes back here, ends up overlapping, it looks kind of stupid. So not a fan of that right there, but it works for what it is. So other than that, um, that was pretty much my main project. 
I did a bunch of cleaning the garage, a bunch of organizing stuff and that that's just seems like a never ending process. I've got so much junk in here that just drives me crazy. Um, part of the reason I wanted to build this chair is I had enough wood to do the chair and I wanted to see if it was going to work out because I've got actually I think enough to do two. And if I make the second one right away, um, that'll just be that much less wood I have to move when I actually get it all organized. So I'm still organizing stuff out here. It seems to really just, it sucks. I don't know. It seems like it takes way longer than it should. So anyway, um, other than that, the day went really well for me. I um, went to bed super early last night. I was just absolutely exhausted. I um, don't know what's going on with that. I've got to look back and see if there's something changing in my diet or whatever. I don't think I've been eating very good lately. Actually, I don't even remember like eating at all yesterday. So I'll have to look at my um, thing. I've got my little tracker that I punch my food into and I'll take a look at it. Maybe that was part of my problem. But I went to bed early, slept for a few hours, came out here, started cleaning again and stuff. Went back in, went to bed for a while. Um, got up, it's just, I don't know. It was a really weird night. I'm hoping to actually go to bed and get some actual decent sleep tonight at a regular time and not have that weird I actually think I went to bed at like 8 o'clock last night. It was like, hell, it might have been 6 o'clock. I don't know. It was super early. It really kind of creeped me out um, how early it was. And then I was back up, you know, midnight or so. I was back up at, and going again. So definitely going to try and avoid that part. But anyway, um, that's what I got right there for my chair. Um, let me know what you think of it. And have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.